सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ जियोग्राफी फॉर क्लास एट एन टाइटल्ड रिसोर्स एंड डिवेलपमेंट दिस इज द लेसन टू लैंड सॉयल वॉटर नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सेवन टू पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी वन Let's listen to the lesson Land, Soil, Water, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife Resources. Page number 7. In a small village in Tanzania, Africa, Mamba gets up very early in the morning to fetch water. She has to walk a long way and returns After a few hours she then helps her mother in the house and joins her brother in taking care of their goats all her family owns is a piece of rocky land around their small hut mamba's father can barely grow some maize and beans on it after toiling hard this is not enough to feed their family for the whole year Peter lives in the heart of the sheep rearing region in New Zealand where his family runs a wool processing factory every day when he returns from school peter watches his uncle taking care of their sheep their sheep yard is situated on a wide grassy plain with hills in the far distance it is managed in a scientific way using the latest technology peter's family also grows vegetables through organic farming mamba and peter stay in two different parts of the world and lead very different lives this difference is because of the differences in the quality of land soil water natural vegetation animals and the usage of technology the availability of such resources is the main reason places differ from each other on the right side there is an orange box which reads let's do observe the land type of soil and water availability in the region you live discuss in your class how it has influenced the lifestyle of people there land land is among the most important natural resources it covers only about 30% of the total area of the earth's surface and all parts of this small percentage are not habitable at the right side there is a red box which reads Do you know 90% of the world population occupies only 30% of land area the remaining 70% of the land is either sparsely populated or uninhabited the uneven distribution of population in different parts of the world is mainly due to varied characteristics of land and climate the rugged topography steep slopes of the mountains low lying areas susceptible to water logging desert areas thick forested areas are normally sparsely populated or uninhabited page number 2 plains and river valleys offer suitable land for agriculture hence these are the densely populated areas of the world page number 8 on the left side there is a figure 2.1 selberg in austria this picture shows how many ways the land has been used land use land is used for different purposes such as agriculture forestry mining building houses roads and setting up of industries this is commonly termed as land use k 
Can you list out the different ways in which Mambas and Peter's family use their land? The use of land is determined by physical factors such as topography, soil, climate, minerals, and availability of water. Human factors such as population and technology are also important determinants of land use pattern. Land can also be classified on the basis of ownership as private land and community land. Private land is owned by individuals, whereas community land is owned by the community for common uses like collection of fodder, fruits, nuts or medicinal herbs. These community lands are also called common property resources. People and their demands are ever-growing. but the availability of land is limited. The quality of land also differs from place to place. People started encroaching the common lands to build up commercial areas, housing complexes in the urban areas and to expand the agricultural land in the rural areas. Today, the vast changes in the land use pattern also reflect the cultural changes in our society, land degradation, landslides, soil erosion, desertification are the major threats to the environment because of the expansion of agriculture and construction activities. At the bottom, there is a yellow box which reads, Let's do. Talk to some elderly person in your family or neighborhood and collect information about changes in the land use over the years in the place where you live. Display your findings on the bulletin board in your classroom. Page number 9 On page number 9, there is figure number 2.2. In this figure, with the help of four diagrams, the change in land use over time has been given. In the first diagram, we see the land is mostly used for agriculture. Then, in second diagram, the houses are slowly increasing and the land used for agriculture has reduced. Then, in third diagram, we see that land is used for making roads, making complexes, houses and factories. And in the last diagram, we see that the agricultural land has been completely reduced and we see a lot of park, road and houses. Conservation of Land Resource Growing population and their ever-growing demand has led to a large-scale destruction of forest cover and arable land and has created a fear of losing this natural resource. Therefore, the present rate of degradation of land must be checked. Afforestation, land reclamation, regulated use of chemical pesticide and fertilizers and checks on overgrazing are some of the common methods used to conserve land resources. Soil The thin layer of grainy substance covering the surface of the earth is called soil. It is closely linked to land. Landforms determine the type of soil. Soil is made up of organic matter, minerals and weathered rocks found on the earth. This happens through the process of weathering. The right mix of minerals and organic matter make the soil fertile. At the bottom right side, there is a pink box which reads Glossary Weathering The breaking up and decay of exposed rocks by temperature changes, frost action, plants, animals and 
ह्यूमन एक्टिविटी पेज नंबर टेन लैंडस्लाइड्स लैंडस्लाइड्स आर सिंपली डिफाइंड एज द मास मूवमेंट ऑफ रॉक डेबरीज और अर्थ डाउन अ स्लोप दे ऑफन टेक प्लेस इन कंजंक्शन विद अर्थक्वेक्स फ्लड्स एंड वॉलकैनोज A prolonged spell of rainfall can cause heavy landslide that can block the flow of river for quite some time. The formation of river blocks can cause havoc to the settlements downstream on its bursting. In the hilly terrain landslides have been major and widely spread natural disaster that often strike life and property. and occupy a position of major concern on the top right side there is an image given which shows a landslide a case study a massive landslide hit pangi village near rekong pio in kinnor district of himachal pradesh and damaged a 200 meter stretch of old hindustan tibet road National Highway 22 This landslide was triggered by intense blasting at Pangi village Due to the blasting this weak zone of slope collapsed and caused intense damage to the road and nearby villages The Pangi village was completely vacated to avoid any possible loss of life Mitigation mechanism advancement in scientific techniques has empowered us to understand what factors cause landslides and how to manage them some broad mitigation of techniques of landslides are given here first hazard mapping to locate areas prone to landslide hence such areas can be avoided for building settlements second construction of retention wall to stop land from slipping third increase the vegetation cover to arrest landslide fourth the surface drainage control works to control the movement of landslide along the rain water and spring flows at the bottom right side there is an image given which shows retention wall page number 11 on page there is figure number 2.3 which depicts soil profile in the figure the soil profile has been given first layer of soil is parent rock second layer of soil is weathered rock material third layer of soil is subsoil with sand silt and clay and the fourth layer is the top soil with humus and vegetation at the right side there is a red box which reads do you know it takes hundreds of years to make just 1 cm of soil factors of soil formation the major factors of soil formation are the nature of the parent rock and climatic factors other factors are the topography role of organic material and time taken for the composition of soil formation all these differ from place to place at the bottom there is figure number 2.4 titled factors affecting soil formation there is a diagram showing the factors affecting soil formation the different factors have given in five colored boxes first is parent rock determines color texture chemical properties mineral content permeability second climate temperature rainfall influence rate of weathering and humus formation third relief altitude and slope determine accumulation of soil fourth 
flora, fauna and microorganism affect the rate of humus formation. Fifth, time determines thickness of soil profile. In the end, all these factors affect soil formation and soil is formed. Page number 12 Degradation of Soil and Conservation Measures Soil erosion and depletion are the major threats to soil as a resource. Both human and natural factors can lead to degradation of soils. Factors which lead to soil degradation are deforestation, overgrazing, overuse of chemical fertilizers or pesticides, rainwash, landslides and floods. Some methods of soil conservation are listed here. Number 1. Mulching The bare ground between plants is covered with a layer of organic matter like straw. It helps to retain soil moisture. Number 2. Contour Barriers Stones, grass, soil are used to build barriers along contours. Trenches are made in front of the barriers to collect water. Number 3. Rock Dam Rock dams are piled up to slow down the flow of water. This prevents gullies and further soil loss. Three figures are given on page. Figure number 2.5 shows terrace farming. Figure number 2.6 shows contour plowing. Figure number 2.7 shows shelter bells. Number 4. Terrace farming. Broad, flat steps or terraces are made on the steep slopes so that flat surfaces are available to grow crops. They reduce surface runoff and soil erosion, which shown in figure number 2.5. Number 5. Intercropping Different crops are grown in alternate rows and are sown at different times to protect the soil from rainwash. Number 6. Contour Plowing Plowing parallel to the contours of a hill slope to form a natural barrier for water to flow down the slope. Contour plowing shown in figure number 2.6. Number 7. Shelter Bells In the coastal and dry regions, rows of trees are planted to check the wind movement to protect soil cover, which shown in figure number 2.7. At the top, there is a green box which reads Activity. In India, soils could be alluvial, black, red, laterite, desertic and mountain soil. Collect a handful of different types of soil and observe how are they different. Page number 13 on page, there is a green box which reads Activity. There are two diagrams given, diagram A and diagram B, which depicts the activity, which is written here in the box, which reads Take two trays, A and B of same size. Make six holes at one end of these trays and then fill them with the same amount of soil. Leave the soil in tray A bare, while saw wheat or rice grains in tray B. When the grain in tray B has grown a few centimeters high, place both the trays in such a way that they are on a slope. Pour one mug of water from the same height into each tray. Collect the muddy water that trickles down the holes of both trays in two separate containers and compare how much soil is washed out of each tray. Water Water 
is a vital renewable natural resource. Three fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. It is therefore appropriately called the water planet. It was in the primitive oceans that life began almost 3.5 billion years back. Even today, the ocean cover two thirds of the Earth's surface and support a rich variety of plant and animal life. The ocean water is, however, saline and not fit for human consumption. Fresh water accounts for only about 2.7%. Nearly 70% of this occurs as ice sheets and glaciers in Antarctica, Greenland and mountain regions. Due to their location, they are inaccessible. Only 1% of fresh water is available and fit for human use. It is found as groundwater, as surface water in rivers and lakes and as water vapours in the atmosphere. On the right side, there is a red box which reads, Do you know? In 1975, the consumption of water for human use was 3850 cubic kilometer per year. It soared to more than 6000 cubic kilometer per year in the year 2000. Fresh water is therefore the most precious substance on earth. Water can neither be added nor subtracted from the earth. Its total volume remains constant. Its abundance only seems to vary because it is in constant motion, cycling through the oceans, the air, the land and back again through the processes of evaporation, precipitation and runoff. This as you already know is referred to as the water cycle. On the right side, there is another red box which reads, Do you know? A dripping tap wastes 1200 litres of water in a year. Page number 14 Humans use huge amounts of water not only for drinking and washing, but also in the process of production. Water for agriculture, industries, generating electricity through reservoirs of dams, other other usages, increasing population, rising demands for food and cash crops, increasing urbanization and rising standards of living are the major factors leading to shortages in supply of fresh water, either due to drying up of water sources or water pollution. On the top left side, there is a green box which reads Activity. An average urban Indian uses about 150 litres of water every day. There are two columns in the box. In the first column, it is written the uses of water and in the second column, it is written litres per person per day. Now, it has tally given. Here, drinking uses 3 litres per person per day. Cooking uses 4 litres per person per day. Bathing uses 20 litres per person per day. Flushing uses 40 litres per person per day. Washing clothes uses 40 litres per person per day. Washing utensils uses 20 litres per person per day. Gardening uses 23 litres per person per day. Total in the end is 150 litres. It is also written here. Can you suggest some ways to bring down this amount? Problems of water availability There is 
scarcity of water in many regions of the world most of africa west asia south asia parts of western usa northwest mexico parts of south america and entire australia are facing shortages in fresh water supply countries located in climatic zones most susceptible to droughts face great problems of water scarcity thus water shortage may be a consequence of variation in seasonal or annual precipitation or the scarcity is caused by over exploitation and contamination of water sources on the left side there is a red box given which reads do you know have you ever heard about a water market amreli city in saurashtra region with a population of 1.25 lakhs is completely dependent on purchasing water from the nearby talukas conservation of water resources access to clean and adequate water sources is a major problem facing the world today steps have to be taken to conserve this dwindling resource even though water is a renewable resource its overuse and pollution can make it unfit for use discharge or untreated or partially treated sewage agricultural chemicals and industrial effluents in water bodies are major contaminants they pollute water with nitrates metals and pesticides at the bottom there is a figure 2.8 which shows river yamuna is getting polluted due to sewage industrial effluents and garbage page number 15 Most of these chemicals are non-biodegradable and reach human bodies through water. Water pollution can be controlled by treating these effluents suitably before releasing them in water bodies. Forest and other vegetation cover slow the surface runoff and replenish underground water. Water harvesting is another method to save surface runoff. The canals used for irrigating field should be properly lined to minimize losses by water seepage. Sprinklers effectively irrigate the area by checking water losses through seepage and evaporation. In dry regions with high rates of evaporation, drip or trickle irrigation is very useful. The valuable water resource can therefore be conserved by adopting these means of irrigation at the top on the right there is a figure 2.9 which shows a water sprinkler just after the figure 2.9 there is a red box which reads do you know rain water harvesting is the process of collecting rain water from rooftops and directing it to an appropriate location where it is stored for future use on an average one spell of rain for 2 hours is enough to save 8000 liters of water natural vegetation and wildlife some school children were visiting an exhibition on handicrafts The articles in the exhibition were collected from different parts of the country. Mona picked up a bag and exclaimed, "This is a beautiful bag." "Yes, it is made from jute," the teacher said. "Do you see those baskets, lampshades and chairs? Those are made up of canes and bamboos." In the eastern and northeastern humid regions of India, bamboo grows in plenty. Jessy was excited to see a silk scarf. See this beautiful scarf? The teacher explained 
that silk is obtained from silk worms that are bred on mulberry trees the children understood that plants provide us with many different products that we use in our day to day life natural vegetation and wildlife exist only in the narrow zone of contact between the lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere that we called biosphere in the biosphere living beings are interrelated and interdependent on each other for survival this life supporting system is known as the ecosystem vegetation and wildlife are valuable resources plants provide us with timber give shelter to animals produce oxygen we breathe protects soils so essential for growing crops act as shelter belts help in storage of underground water give us fruits nuts latex turpentine oil gum medicinal plants and also the paper that is so essential for your studies these are innumerable uses of plants and you can add some more at the bottom right side there is figure number 2.10 which shows silk worms page number 16 wildlife includes animals birds insects as well as the aquatic life forms they provide us milk meat hides and wool insects like bees provide us honey help in pollination of flowers and have an important role to play as decomposers in the ecosystem the birds feed on insects and act as decomposers as well vulture due to its ability to feed on dead livestock is a scavenger and considered a vital cleanser of the environment so animals big or small all are integral to maintaining balance in the ecosystem on the right side there is a figure 2.11 which shows a brahmakamal which is a medicinal herb there is another figure 2.12 which shows a blue kingfisher on the left side there is a red box which reads do you know vultures in the indian subcontinent were dying of kidney failure shortly after scavenging livestock treated with diclofenac a painkiller that is similar to aspirin or ibuprofen efforts are on to ban the drug for livestock use and breed vultures in captivity there is an image of vulture is shown in the same box distribution of natural vegetation the growth of vegetation depends primarily on temperature and moisture The major vegetation types of the world are grouped as forests, grasslands, scrubs and tundra. In areas of heavy rainfall, huge trees may thrive. The forests are thus associated with areas having abundant water supply. As the amount of moisture decreases, the size of trees and their density decreases. short stunted trees and grasses grow in the regions of moderate rainfall forming the grasslands of the world thorny shrubs and scrubs grow in dry areas of low rainfall at the bottom left side there is figure number 2.13 which shows grassland and forest page number 
In such areas, plants have deep roots and leaves with thorny and waxy surface reduce loss of moisture through transpiration. Tundra vegetation of cold polar regions comprise of mosses and lichens. On the right side, there is a figure 2.14, which shows a python in a forest. Today, there are many more people in the world than there were two centuries back. To feed the growing numbers, large areas of forests have been cleared to grow crops. Forest cover all over the world in vanishing rapidly. There is an urgent need to conserve this valuable resource. Conservation of Natural Vegetation and Wildlife Forests are our wealth. Plants give shelter to the animals and together they maintain the ecosystem. Changes of climate and human interferences can cause the loss of natural habitats for the plants and animals. Many species have become vulnerable or endangered and some are on the verge of extinction. Deforestation, soil erosion, constructional activities, forest fires, tsunami and landslides are some of the human and natural factors which accelerate the process of extinction of these resources. One of the major concerns is the poaching, which results in a sharp decline in the number of particular species. The animals are poached for collection and illegal trade of hides, skins, nails, teeth, horns, as well as feathers. Some of these animals are tiger, lion, elephant, deer, black buck, crocodile, rhinoceros, snow leopard, ostrich and peacock. These can be conserved by increasing awareness. On the right side, there is figure number 2.15, which shows a collage of a forest made by school students. There is another figure 2.16 on the right side of page number 11 which shows loss of rainforest in Great Nicobar after tsunami. Page number 18 National parks, wildlife sanctuaries, biosphere reserves are made to protect our natural vegetation and wildlife. Conservation of creeks, lakes, and wetlands is necessary to save the precious resource from depletion. There is a balance in the environment if the relative number of species is not disturbed. Human activities in several parts of the world have disturbed the natural habitats of many species. Due to indiscriminate killings, several birds and animals have either become extinct or are on the verge of extinction. On the top left side, there is figure 2.17. Figure shows a black buck, which is entitled, Black Buck Also Needs Protection. There is an activity given which consists one image. In this image, there are several forest fire paper cuttings and it reads Activity Read the news item and find out how fire started in California. Could it be avoided? No more. Forest fire is a threat to the entire region of fauna and flora. It occurs mainly due to three reasons. Number 1. Natural fire due to lightning, etc. Number 2. Fire due to heat generated in the litter due to carelessness of people. Number 3. 
fire purposely caused by local inhabitants mischief makers miscreants etc some control measures number 1 prevention of fires through education number 2 prompt detection of fires through well coordinated network of observation points efficient ground patrolling and communication network page number 18 awareness programs like social forestry and van mahotsav should be encouraged at the regional and community level school children should be encouraged to bird watch and visit nature camps so that they appreciate the habitat of varied species Many countries have passed the laws against the trade as well as killing of birds and animals in India killing lions tigers deers great indian bustards and peacocks is illegal an international convention CITES sites has been established that list several species of animals and birds in which trade is prohibited conservation of plants and animals is an ethical duty of every citizen on the top right side there is a pink box which reads glossary national park a natural area designated to protect the ecological integrity of one or more ecosystems for the present and future generations on the right side there is figure number 2.18 which shows a herd of cheetals there is another figure 2.19 which shows a herd of elephants in kaziranga national park on the right side there is a pink box which reads glossary biosphere reserves series of protected areas linked through a global network intended to demonstrate the relationship between conservation and development at the bottom there is a red color rectangular box which reads do you know c i t e s sites the convention of international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora is an international agreement between governments it aims to ensure that international trade in specimens of wild animals and plants does not threaten their survival roughly 5000 species of animals and 28000 species of plants are protected bears dolphins cacti corals orchids and aloes are some examples page number 20 exercises number 1 answer the questions given here question number 1 which are the two main climatic factors responsible for soil formation question number 2 write any two reasons for land degradation today question number 3 why is land considered an important resource question number 4 name any two steps that government has taken to conserve plants and animals question number 5 suggest three ways to conserve water number 2 take the correct answer question number 1 which one of the option is not a factor of soil formation a time b soil texture c organic matter question number 2 which one of the option 
is most appropriate method to check soil erosion on steep slopes a shelter belts b mulching c terrace cultivation question number 3 which one of the option is not in favor of the conservation of nature a switch off the bulb when not in use b close the tap immediately after using c dispose poly bags after shopping number 3 match the given columns two columns are given under question number 3 left side column reads number 1 land use number 2 hummus number 3 rock dams number 4 biosphere right side column reads a prevent soil erosion b narrow zone of contact between the lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere c productive use of land d organic matter deposited on top soil e contour ploughing number 4 state whether the given statement is true or false if true write the reasons number 1 ganga brahmaputra plain of india is an overpopulated region number 2 water availability per person in india is declining number 3 rows of trees planted in the coastal areas to check the wind movement is called intercropping number 4 human interference and changes of climate can maintain the ecosystem number 5 activity discuss some more reasons which are responsible for changing of land use pattern has your place undergone any change in the land use pattern in recent years find out from your parents and elderly people you can conduct an interview by asking the questions given in the table page number 21 There is a table given under this question which has five columns. Heading of column number 1 is place. Heading of column number 2 is when your grandparents were in their 30s. Heading of column number 3 is when your parents were in their 30s. Heading of column number 4 is why do you think this is happening? Heading of column number 5 is are common areas and open spaces disappearing This table is divided in two parts first part rural and other part is urban First column has three question for rural areas Question 1 number of cattle and poultry owned Number 2 number of trees and ponds in the village number 3 main occupation of the head of the family five questions are given in urban section question 1 number of cars owned number of rooms in the house number of metalled roads number of flyovers in the city number of parks and playgrounds column number 2 3 4 and 5 are blank based on the table you have just completed draw a picture of land use patterns that you foresee in your neighborhood after 20 years why do you think that land use patterns change over the years The chapter 2 of total 6 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Pragya Jha. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India.